Okay, now that we've got the what this is about here, we are in part two of our creating ideas to restaurant marketing that will engage and bring in more customers. This is the way to cut out the middleman of uh, various third-party platforms and apps and even whether websites that uh, do bring in additional customers but take away some of your money. You want to keep your money, right? I like to keep my money, so let's all keep what is due for our services and our hard work. And we can do that by gradually moving our marketing up efforts and ideas to our own and the free social media available and our own website that's available for a po hosting fee. So once that's out of the way, it's a done static fee. It's not a monthly recurring or it's a minimal monthly recurring that you can easily incorporate versus taking away a percentage of every single sale. Uh, that money can be spent in a fraction and get multiples on your returns. 400% return on your investment easily in three months. I've seen that. I've done that with a restaurant. It's something that you can build into. And some of the ways to do that we covered in part one of this video. If you haven't seen that uh, after you're done with this one or if you'd like, uh, go back to that one and learn more about what's in part one. We covered uh, social media and uh, hashtags, local SEO, and more about your website and ways to get in front of your customers and encourage them to bring come into your restaurant. With this <clears throat> part two now today, we're going to get into developing specific campaigns that are relevant to specific aspects of your re restaurant. So the campaign that's relevant to a specific aspect or a specific happening in your restaurant. And the first and most obvious way to do that is to develop a loyalty program that uh, you can manage and master all your own here. Don't need to pay a third party to do that and you can keep that going. If you want to get a third party involved, that's, that's just fine as well. Next, we'll cover write a blog. If you don't have a blog, definitely it's time to do that and get that uh, brought into your marketing campaigns. And those food photos. Pinterest. Need I say more? Do we know what's going on here at Pinterest? Is a interesting photo that goes across those seeking for photos by a search topic. If they're looking for Asian food restaurants in Milwaukee, they're going to uh, find pictures of Asian food in uh, restaurant diners who have been tagged as Asian food in Milwaukee. So that's a search engine attached to photos. Great way to get pictures of your restaurant and get the word out about your brand, your menu, and what you offer your customers. The next is we're going to cover today is email marketing, a huge opportunity that can go into campaigns and efforts and writing and all on its own. And it's something that with a something that's easily at our fingertips now to do. It doesn't take a master genius to get involved with with an email marketing program. And next you can partner with an influencer, someone who's uh, like the food critic in your area, <clears throat> partner with them online. Or there's other ways to partner with social media influencers, some who may not be a food critic. Maybe they're the Yelp counter and in a way they're a food critic there and they, by partnering with them, you can perhaps uh, engage them as an, as an interview, oh, but it may be simpler to find someone in social media. We'll get more into that as well. And then finally, presentation with Instagram. Instagram is becoming a new TV for a Facebook platform, and you can get your, your restaurant on TV with Instagram. So 
we will get started with those today. That's our introduction to what's going on, and uh, thanks for stopping by today. This is a great opportunity for you to learn about how to manage your marketing and develop creative ideas. If you're running low on the juices for creativity, take a listen, stop by, uh, settle on down with your cup of tea or whatever makes you comfortable, and uh, uh, enjoy the video here. Uh, we'll get started. After our last video, we talked a lot about social media marketing and hashtags and so on. Today, we're going to get into the more specific campaigns, uh, or campaigns that are more specific to your restaurant. Uh, first discussion that we have is having a loyalty program. This is, bottom line, a great way to increase your sale. It's one way to get customers coming back for to get that free dessert or that free coupon. Uh, one restaurant I know, they send out coupons, or they send emails to customers uh, in their loyalty program on a regular basis. And they use language like the inner circle or <clears throat> the executive group or the, the co-minglers. Uh, even on one, uh, they, the, and for just for you as part of the inner circle is ten dollars off just for you. To this makes the subscribers feel they are part of an exclusive club or part of just part of it. <clears throat> and that uh, being part of it uh, is fun to keep engaged with the coupon. You can get this as a printout or an email. We'll get into email campaigns in just a moment here, but loyalty program is a great technique to use in uh, email programs. So it makes your customers feel they're part of something, they're part of uh, what you're offering. And plus, uh, in almost as much as everybody loves free stuff, with the, everyone, we all love uh, discounts and coupons to uh, uh, get us moving. <clears throat> it gets the customers in, foot in the door to come in and dine or take out or, or call for delivery. From the loyalty program, we move on to blogging. If you don't have a blog, you may think it's the last thing you want to do, but it's the first thing you really want to do in terms of internet marketing your restaurant. <clears throat> it can be a great way to share recipes, share tips and tricks, or share the story of your restaurant. An about page, which search engines are just going to love. Uh, tell the story about your restaurant, how you got started, what it's about. Why customers keep coming back? The, it it, uh, it helps you get found online, and uh, you should also be blogging for your local clients. Tell them about local events you participated in or other activities you have done in the community. Tell this is a great way to announce what's going on. When people read your blog, they're spending time on your website, and that tells search engines. The website is relevant and useful. This leads your restaurant to becoming higher in the search results and more likely to be found by customers who are motivated and ready to see you now. So the blog is the first thing you want to do when you get you get going. You get your con you get content out there about your restaurant and it gets customers engaged with you and it gets search engines recognizing you because of the time that customers are spending on your website. They measure that through their robots and they get back to the results, adding it in there, and it boosts your, it boosts your, your visibility. You're on top of the list instead of halfway down or all the way at the bottom. <clears throat> Another way, as we alluded to in the introduction here, is putting out photos. Photos of your beautiful entrees. The beautiful food, the beautiful presentation. Presentation is everything, they say. Well, take that to the internet and let it work for you. Pinterest allows you to pin photos of your food that you can link to your website or in your social media platforms. Pins on Pinterest, 
Their pins are constantly being pinned and repinned, which creates an endless marketing cycle for your restaurant. You can create boards on Pinterest that others can join that other, and those boards are going to be brought, uh, recognized by the Pinterest search engine and shown to users of Pinterest on a selective basis based on the geo, geographical uh, uh, description and then also the content description. If you pin your best food, fo food, 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 photos, your best food photos, what, what, is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Food photos, even if they aren't recipes, they'll most definitely get repinned. Make sure that your name and your brand is attached to your pins. That way when people discover the food photos, they know exactly where to go to enjoy these beautifully pictured dishes. So now we can talk about email marketing. As we mentioned in the loyalty program, uh, email marketing is a great way to drive that loyalty program. You, you need to get a list of customers and the first thing you do is go to that blog uh, that you're working on or uh, that you've got going. Uh, everyone, it's always a work in progress and that's a, a beautiful thing because it creates the message for your customers that's most current and relevant and gets the search engines excited to put you on the top of the list. But uh, once with that's established, you can take, a, take your blog or your website and put a pop-up. Uh, you want to pop or build a landing page for a special event. And with this pop-up, this landing page, you can collect names or collect email addresses for persons interested in these type of uh, notifications, these newsletters, these uh, activities. That way you provide them with the information they want. In exchange, they'll offer you an email address that you can send this information to them on a regular basis. You can then use that email to market your restaurant to them. And uh, once you've got the email list, you can start crafting email campaigns as well as automated emails. If you're thinking, what am I possibly going to send emails about? Well, here are some creative restaurant marketing ideas that you can work into your email campaigns in addition to the loyalty program. Uh, for I've kind of touched on these in the in uh, previous discussions here, but uh, right off the bat here is you want to email your customers your menu items. If you have changes in your menu items, send out weekly specials. These are this is great content for customers who have liked your website or have signed up for your newsletter or information about your restaurant just because you're local to them, perhaps, or for whatever reason they may have signed up. They will appreciate your information about menu changes. Uh, tell them about the events that you're having. Uh, in addition to the specials of the week and the menu changes, you may have special events going on, such as buffet, or you, you know what your specials are. <clears throat> they make those specials available in information to your email list. And uh, make a customer appreciation day that's exclusive for subscribers where they get a discount. Make the list special. This, again, is another, we don't even have to be saying it, just say, because you're reading this, you have an opportunity to come visit us for 10% off on Sunday from 12 to 4. Enjoy the game while you're here. And so on. And it, it, it share your restaurant history in an email campaign to your email subscribers. This will build your credibility and trust with the, uh, in the customers. It will build their understanding of who you are and what to expect when they come to see you or when they call you up to order takeout or delivery. So get the email list going here from uh, telling more about your menu yourself and uh, building loyalty programs, uh, uh, working them in there all together. You can mix and match these and make it uh, something that, you, that uh, you can test and see what works best and keep going with those throughout the year. Uh, another way to do it is uh, to build uh, uh, creative ideas into your marketing efforts here is to work with influencers. Now by influencers we are talking about 
social media activist. Uh, the so act, persons who are very active on social media and garner a huge following, garner uh, many followers, uh, and something someone who's relevant, of course, in your. Uh, industry it's relevant at least in the restaurant industry it may be relevant in your local area someone who is respected not just maybe for uh, restaurant uh, guru, restaurant uh, finesse and uh, a, a guru of understanding for the restaurant but maybe they're a well-respected socialite of the of the uh, local area and uh, they're having their influence can pay off in, in your business. So it's all about the networking and you can network on social media just as much as you can network uh, in person. Uh, tap into your foodie market and get them to post photos of your food. Uh, these influencers who are, to, are more into restaurants, but maybe some of the more broader ranges too, they're the type of people who have this huge following and they typically list the following typically listens to their advice and their suggestions so of course by networking with them the uh, working with them you uh, get them to try your restaurant and ask them to post photos of their thoughts about your food for their followers to see uh, if you can get a food influencer in your restaurant and give it the upper hand and you give yourself an upper hand on the competition and uh, Many, many bloggers run uh, restaurant critiquing uh, blogs, uh, categorizations, and just food reviews. And they, they love to try. Some are very open to trying some are more exclusive or more restrictive. Uh, either way, to get someone, uh, and you can, if you don't know how to get someone, you can work with a marketing agency who is skilled in finding these type of persons relevant to your business and asking them to go visit you and do their posting. Uh, it's a great, uh, again, this is uh, like advertising in a way uh, by boost, boosting your post, but you're not just boosting your post, you're boosting your, your relationship with an influencer or who already has a huge audience, no need to boost the post. Anything that influencer posts is boosted. So is boosting higher, uh, it'll boost your information to a higher audience and a larger mega audience. Um, finally, make your food just like Pinterest, getting the food photos. Get the foodies going on the Instagram. Uh, make it uh, like especially millennials. They go to restaurants just so they can photograph the food. If you post beautiful photos on your Instagram page, you can draw in this target market. You'll just, they'll just go there and start seeing it. Uh, the search engines pull in beautiful pictures, colorful pictures, and you know the way to present your food the best. So that you get come up with something creative in your food. All you got to do is take a picture of it, send it to Instagram. And that's, uh, or come up with a creative way to show it off, uh, involving people, a little story going on there. This is a new, this, this will make Instagram, uh, you can make a little uh, video for Instagram and it becomes a big video for Instagram, for your restaurant as it reaches more and more and more. The idea is to have a signature element and a signature meal stand out on on the video so that it can be and it, it can be definitely identified with your restaurant but for whatever find a way to make it creative and have offer value to the viewers uh, great ways to uh, make your photo stand out is uh, keep the photo sharp stay sharp when you post photos of your food they need to be clear clean and sharp and um, the even it's a standard now low quality photo lacks professionalism whereas a high quality photo is so easy to obtain with the many different devices available to the general public that you know it's just expected now but uh, not only that the clear clean and crispness as always 
from a professional standpoint, it'll make your followers and potential customers want to eat at your restaurant. They'll be able to see what's there. If they see a low quality photo, even if they're already motivated, the photo is going to add confusion and discouragement. Uh, so they, it may be uh, disappointing to see that there, or at least frustrating. Uh, which could close the deal the other way, but uh, by doing a clear photo, you can definitely close in on drawing engaged customers to call you up or come and see you. So, and post unique photos. Keep them changing it up. Keep it uh, providing new information. You, you don't want to give the same shot over and over, or the same counter, or the same flowers in the background. Uh, make it new, just like every meal you present, I'm sure, is a new offer and presentation for the customer at that, at that point. And uh, mix up your photos, not just close-up shots, but wide-angle shots. Uh, photos of someone eating, photos of the food, of course, by itself. The more diverse you make it, the better you keep people engaged and even getting influencers to to latch on to what you've got to offer. They may repost what you're showing off. Uh, so, and get good lighting. Another tip here, you probably have windows that can be open and closed as far as the shades. And during the day, you're gonna find great light. And during the night, more so of the indoor lighting. Many of the devices automatically compensate for this, but you'll be amazed how, how much natural light during the daytime enhances your food. Uh, use the type, use the natural light as much as possible to really show off the, the life in your food. So, and then uh, as we touched on earlier with social media, is you, and this works great with Instagram, is post content from your followers. Um, have you ever been tagged, uh, has your restaurant ever been tagged in a great photo from one of your followers? You can repost it on your page. Just remember to give them credit uh, it's a social etiquette. This makes other people want to come and try your restaurant in hopes of getting their photos posted too, especially the millennials. But uh, the millenni millennial in all of us wants, uh, uh, would love to see that. Uh, it's exciting to get your photos on there and uh, just as exciting it is to get great food. So draw those two in together and make your restaurant stand out on Instagram. Now, that's what we've... Uh, uh, going to bring us to a close here. Uh, we've covered uh, loyalty program, writing a blog, Pinteresting, those Pinterest food photos, email marketing to uh, capture the loyalty programs, and then also uh, all the different types of ideas you can offer to your subscribers in terms of uh, making it special for that uh, uh, particular email, email reader. So, and then you want to partner with an influencer to get, uh, tap into their huge audience to uh, those users of that audience who may have an interest in your offer. And then present with Instagram from pictures to videos and the tips that you can use to make what you're showing stand out on Instagram. The, uh, one of the most creative Restaurant marketing ideas we work with you here is to stay flexible. Sometimes the attack, one of these tactics might not work for you. Don't get stuck on that idea. If it's not working, just change it. And there are so many creative restaurant marketing ideas out there that you can utilize a variety of changes into the into marketing campaigns. And they you you're going to be amazed at what you come up with there. So the let us know what you come up with on these marketing campaigns. Uh, if you have any other ideas, feel free to post them in the comments here and subscribe to this uh, stream here. We'd love to see you as a subscriber and uh, like, hit the like button as well. That'll put you up, put our videos uh, that are coming up. We've got quite a few following this one coming up here. Uh, so. Uh, join us for more and subscribe to get those uh, showing up in your feed here as well. 
Well, thanks for stopping by for creative restaurant marketing ideas in the new digital world we have to offer. There's so much that can be done with this and uh, ca help us all catch up, help restaurants catch up in the changing world that we live in, making it available to make yourself available to, uh, to me, to everyone who sits at home and or when we sit at home, uh, we don't uh, we break the, out of the cabin every now and then and go take a walk. But when we're behind the screen and uh, viewing social, put yourself there in front of us so that we can come and give you a call or email or read about what's going on with you. And that's going to grow what's, what's being offered. Uh, it's going to grow your customer base and get everyone coming to where they want to go. And uh, that's going to be a great thing. Uh, make it happen. Uh, as always, uh, uh, that's keep it going from there. So I appreciate you stopping by. And I uh, want to be sincere on that because this is very important. It's uh, near and dear to my heart to get these things available so that you can present what you have to offer in the best possible light. These techniques that we covered today here. Um, Marketing can be a tricky uh, with the way things are in the digital world now, especially with a third person, uh, third party platforms are charging a fee on every sale to get your name out there in front of customers. Uh, for most, the best thing that can be said from that is they have generated a great platform that does reach customers here. The However, there are so many other free platforms available now that uh, this was these 13 creative restaurant marketing ideas uh, and a few more uh, have been uh, what we want to show to you to, how to get more customers on your own using the free social media that's available and then also uh, tapping into some of the paid features uh, from blogging to boosting your posts. Uh, so once again, uh, thanks for stopping by. Feel, feel free to subscribe. Please do subscribe because we've got more videos coming up here for you uh, in the short term. And uh, the, once you subscribe, they'll show up in your feed as a regular feature. Uh, and like this video also to, to uh, boost its uh, uh, finding this on the internet as well. Uh, these are going to ke keep these... Uh, uh, active here, and I really appreciate you making that uh, part of your day here. Uh, so these, uh, that's all we got to offer, really, for this right now. So I don't need to say any more. Thank you for stopping by, and uh, cheers, toast to you.